you tell us a bit about why strengthening communities is important in your field of action? Yeah, I, mean, I think uh, what we all want to see is better outcomes for uh, communities and individuals in Scotland, whether that's through local government services or, or anything else. And in my view, the big problem we've got is one of inequality. We've had over the last 30 years more money, we create overall better standards, but unfortunately uh, the inequality uh, that people suffer is greater than it ever was. And I don't see that there's a chance that we will undo that inequality without a community development approach to how we deliver services and without the kind of focus that community development brings to the delivery of services. And what sort of support do you think that communities need to build that strength? I mean, I think we've forgotten uh, uh, how important it is to nurture and invest in communities in order to give people the capacity um, to be involved in the processes that are going to affect their lives. When I started working, I started out as a community development worker, but I was in a department, a single department in a council in England that had 60 or 70 community development workers. That would be a huge number by anybody's standards uh, uh, just now. So the amount we've chosen to invest in building capacity, nurturing and encouraging communities uh, to be involved in, uh, in processes and involved in participation has gone down considerably and I don't think uh, that's a satisfactory situation so I'd like to see that changed. And if we did see it change, what, what would your vision be then for how, how things could look? I think uh, it's interesting that today you're, uh, one of the presenters is talking about the government's community empowerment bill and I think uh, the work of the commission that I'm going to speak about finds that a, an interesting concept. The idea that it is government that empower communities seems to us to be the wrong way around. Isn't it really the case that communities empower governments, that power and authority uh, to act lies with communities and you only have institutions that do the things that can't be done at a community level? So I think I'd like to see a turning on its head the kind of concept we've got in this country about where power lies. Power doesn't lie. Uh, with governments, whether it's local or national governments, it should lie with communities and governments should be the servant of those communities. And although that sounds a bit trite, that's a fundamental change that would completely alter the way we do business. Thank you.